and then the exercise that um, that we're going to practice once you get the turtle freeze is called um, the arm collapse and what this eventually does is it sets you up for a successful windmill um, and a windmill has about a six month learning curve if you're practicing it at least every other day um, so I don't expect you to get it in six months but if you do that's dope um, I will definitely try to help you get there in six months um, so check this out this is going to help you and your muscles grow so that you're able to execute the turtle freeze um, with precision. And all this takes is one arm in and one arm out for balance. So you're having one arm in, one arm out. And all you do is you push with this hand, you push away. Okay, so you're pushing like that, okay? Now you can push or you can fall, but if you fall, it's not actually, you're not actually executing anything. I mean, you can hang out, but I'm making a video. Hey, what are you doing here? Whoops. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so, the, the cat is over on my bed if you want to hang out okay. over there. <laughs> this is my partner, Carla. Hi, Carla. Hi. Uh, Alright. Alright, All right. so anyway, um, so part two of this video is basically the arm collapse. Uh, the arm collapse, just, just for clarification, from this angle, looks like this. Okay. From this angle looks like this okay now what you want to do is basically want to go across the room doing that um, as far as you can and then just turn around and, and try to practice it on both arms so that both arms are as strong as one another so just to review check this out you're here you start here and you push you want to push okay so that you land like this ideally you're gonna land on the forearm you're not actually going to learn land here, okay? But that's that's getting to an advanced exercise. Maybe we can go over that next class. But you here, push, reset, push, reset. Oh, and I bang in the club. Um, from a front angle, that looks like this. Uh, here, push, reset. Push, reset. The number one thing you want to keep in mind when you're doing the arm collapse is that when you collapse, right, you're pushing your arm and then you're collapsing on top of it. If your arm is over here, you're doing it wrong, okay? You need to do it here because when it comes time for the windmill, I'm not really, I'm not really prepared for this. I haven't stretched, but. When it comes time for the windmill, you're gonna come, you're gonna move your hips up here, and your arm is gonna push. So that you eventually land like this. Does that make sense? Cool. Uh, if you have any questions, email it to me and I'll and I'll, I'll get back to you in the video. Alright? So peace. Um, Ibu, Valen, Valen, sorry that you were sick. I hope you feel better, man. When you start to feel better, um, give the, give, uh, give this exercise, uh, another go. Um, because honestly, even at my skill level, this is still an exercise that I, st I can still feel. I can still feel it in my back. I can still feel it in my arms and in my chest and in my abs and even a little bit of my back, lower back and, and hips and stuff like that. So it's an exercise that doesn't expire ever. Um, it can only be improved. You can, you can figure out a way to make the exercise harder if you want, but ultimately, uh, you know, just because you've achieved the turtle doesn't mean that you, 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 it's, I mean, yeah, you can stop, <laughs> right? Like you can stop 
exercising, but that's kind of like accepting, um, like a lower quality of, of, um, skill sets. And you want to just like, you want to get, you want to really build a strong foundation. And sometimes these tedious workouts are, you know, these, these annoying, um, workouts are the number one thing that's going to give you the really fun things that you can do in the future, like the windmill. It's really fun. Uh, I mean, just talking from experience, once you get good at the windmill, it, you can literally get the same feeling as being on a roller coaster. It's just, it's amazing. Um, I don't know why that is. But anyway, uh, everybody have a good night. It's like 10 o'clock at night here, so. <sighs> Happy Mother's Day and all that cool jazz and don't you like my fish shot camera it took 20 days to get here <laughs>